Hey guys, Remote Animation here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this VFX shot using a mobile phone and our good friend Prisma 3D which is available on the Google Play Store. And to get the project started I took some weird clips of myself doing some random stuff which I would later edit into something meaningful. Then I imported in these random clips to a light motion to edit out the background. And after removing the background I exported the clip as an image sequence for Prisma 3D which is where we are going to be doing most of the work. I'm not gonna lie, the clip in our scene wasn't very appealing to look at, but at this point not much could be done, so I just went ahead to model in the scene, which in this case was a simple room with wooden walls, and then I aligned the camera with the angle that the clip was taken from. And as you can see, when recording the clip, I actually turned around a little bit to give the effect that the camera was moving around me. Then I threw in some lights for the glowing knife. And then I used spotlights to give myself that nice edge lighting. And the major problem was that Prisma's lighting system wasn't giving me exactly what I needed. So I ended up using some shadow textures to get those dark spots around the edges of the room. And then for some weird reason, I saw the need to change the color to green. And at the time, from my perspective, it looked 10 times better. And then I did some more glowing eye effects but this time with two lights instead. And then I added in a light to my right arm to make the shot look a little more intense. And using the shadow texture I gave myself a far better shadow in the scene. And finally I did some basic light and camera animation. And then the shot was basically complete so I took the clip over to CapCut for the final edit. And that is how I turned this cringe looking shot to this.